Kawada-san talks about a productivity miracle and I think you're suggesting maybe there's a better name. What would you call it if you were teaching what Dr. Kawada-san is teaching? Only miracle. Only miracle. We will become shareholder, shareholder of lots of our uh, raw material manufacturers. It was one of the uh, issues to help us to increase our profit. The other issue is uh, investing on uh, research and uh, making uh, more profitable material and uh, injecting how to inject the demand into market and how to give them solution, I mean material for solution. You've been working with Kawada-san for eight years. Mm -hmm. If you didn't work with Kawada-san, where would you be today? And, uh, and you know where you are because you did work with Kawada-san over eight years. How do you quantify in dollars or whatever? How do you quantify the extra business? Mm -hmm. Uh, I believe without Professor Kavada, we cannot survive from that red ocean we lived before with lots of competitors. So uh, I believe we could not survive. Maybe eight years ago, uh, we will face, we, we will bankrupt. We, we, excuse me, we were bankrupt. Uh, but now it is totally different. Wow. Okay. Oh, so good. Uh, now, what business are you in with the chemicals in construction? Who's your customer? And then what industry do you support? You, you support the construction industry, and that's got to be a big industry in Iran, yes? Uh, when we started with Professor Kavada, in our basket of product, we have nearly 55 uh, chemicals. And mostly they were adhesives and uh, some waterproofing materials. But right now, uh, we are producing more than 170 uh, chemicals. Uh, we are especially producing lots of polymers in field of concrete water reducers, waterproofing material, different type of growths. You are only uh, hearing uh, some new words from me. Let me explain it for you better. Uh, whatever we are producing is using uh, for uh, construction making the durable and more workable concrete, uh, best adhesives for everything. When you're producing a building, you need lots of adhesive. But in general, people know, for example, tile adhesive, when you want to glue the tile to the substrate. But we are producing different type of adhesives uh, waterproofing material, for example, for isolation roof, balconies, toilet, bathrooms, different type of sealants, paint, coating. Our produce, our product uh, is not using only in buildings. It is using for uh, power plants, dam, bridge, whatever is made by concrete. It need construction chemicals. Are you transporting now, exporting outside of Iran? Yes, exactly. We um, two years ago we uh, started to um, um, check and going to details of our uh, nearest countries. I mean, Turkey, Iraq, Afghanistan. Uh, Pakistan, Azerbaijan, Dubai, Qatar, Oman. We did the. I I can tell I can tell you honestly. We did fantastic uh, market study. So after market study, uh, we uh, find lots of opportunities. 
uh, we signed uh, very good contracts, contracts. We find lots of opportunities. I mean, uh, transferring the knowledge, producing outside Iran, exporting the material, doing B2B, doing B2C, lots of opportunities came out. That's such a success story. So I, I think of that, <laughs> I think of this success story and I'm wondering um, why, uh, first of all, Dr. Kawada is not so well known outside of working with Toyota and the companies that supply Toyota. And I guess it's because he, he doesn't have the marketing team that he probably deserves. So mm -hmm. you, you recommend Dr. Kawada Sun's training and teaching? Uh, 100%. And uh, I highly suggest you to start not from today, from yesterday. Oh, it's like start yesterday. Like, yes. like right now, if you made the phone call, you're one day late calling him up. Yeah, you're already late. Okay, very good. It's great that he's willing to offer his help to companies outside of Japan. Mm -hmm. And so Iran is, you're one of them. That's great. Who would he start with? Would he start with everybody in the company and do a, a training with everybody? Or does he start with finance? Or does he start with the leadership? How does he engage?